Well, rain garden is is essentially uh, a garden that can absorb a lot of water. When it rains, it pours. Well, maybe not at the moment amid this end of summer heat, but Montrealers often worry about water infiltration during big downpours like we saw in August. And rain gardens can be helpful in events like those. They can absorb excess water, getting it away from buildings and their foundations. We're trying to think of ways that we can try and manage some of that water in a more more eco-responsible way and a way that doesn't necessarily mean digging up your whole yard and putting a drainage field and a drainage system which can be effective but having a rain garden can be just as effective if not more and much better for the environment. According to Sean Manning, president and co-founder of Urban Seedling, it's important to have the right type of plants in the garden, ones with deep tap roots. A rain garden is uh, a garden that generally comprised of native plant species that are perennial and that are big drinkers of water. So they like wet feet, they like to be in a wet area. They're very resistant to all different kinds of, of climates and temperatures, so hot, wet, dry, and they are big, big drinkers. He also recommends having a variety of plants. You want to have a mixture of plants, big, small, medium, to have, create a canopy so you can and have some things that like a little bit more shade, some things that are like more sun, and play around with, with that. Manning says rain gardens should be lower down than the rest of the lawn and grass. What you want to do is create a space in your yard that is somewhere on the on the lower side, so in a, in a down slope, so that all the runoff from your roof and from the property can, can accumulate into this garden, and that garden will be able to clean that water um, and and clean out all the pollutants that might be in there and then slowly release whatever is left over to then make its way into our uh, our water table. Rain gardens can not only help with floods, but can also be beneficial for the environment. This is also a great opportunity to have a really biodiverse garden that will be feeding our local pollinators. So you'll have um, things like milkweed, things like um, cardinal flowers and, and bee balm uh, that are great in a, in a, in a, in a wet situation. And and you'll be doing a great thing, not only for your property, but also for the environment. In Montreal, Adriana Gentile, City News.